KJTC Sports Extra, local team scores and highlights. Brought to you exclusively by Hiller's Flooring America. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to Sports Extra. As the calendar moves into the second week of December, we shift our focus forward toward the winter sports season. I'm Julie Mitchell, alongside sports director Mark Palos. We have you covered on the hardwood, mat, and ice tonight. We start tonight's show with some hoops out west on I-35. That's right, and there were two special guests in attendance, the Blues Brothers. I don't know if these are the real ones, though, but they're getting some good hoops. Watching Mayo take on Faribault. All right, in this game, Spartans got out to an early lead. The Falcons kept fighting. Aiden Hansen, he's a low down low. That cuts the Mayo lead to 11. And later, Falcons need a triple. Carson Krieger delivers. Big shot. Faribault makes it a nine-point game. But Mayo was just fantastic all game long. Great inbounds play. Sawyer Markham, wide open splash. Spartans back up double digits. And Isaiah Hansen opens his Gucci duffel. Free throw line, pull up, buckets. Mayo up 14. It started raining after that. Alex Giamardi, three ball, corner pocket, cash, money. And hey, can you make that a double, please? Let's go to Hanson, corner, bangerang. That triple is good as Mayo rolls on to a win here over Faribault, 57 to 34 on the road. Injury on the road to face Red Wing. Panthers win that one, 55 to 43. Tate Diedrich in that game, 16 points, five rebounds, three steals. Leads to help lead Century to a win. The Gucci Duffel, I love Gucci. it. Next, we have back to Rochester where the Lord Eagles hosted the Pine Island Panthers. Both teams wanted to pick up their second win of the season. Second half, Panthers down 11. They try to come back. Nick Bauer goes high off the glass. P.I. down nine, but the Eagles would answer. Next possession, DeLong Colang finds Parker Dunham who motors to the hoop, gets the bucket. Later, watch this one, Aiden Janes finds Kulang. Some great action from the Eagles as Kulang lays it in. Later, the Eagles go down low. Dunham goes to work on the low block, and he's going to say this guy is too small. Eagles now up 18, but P.I. didn't go away quietly. Moments later, they break the press. Sven Oberg lays it in off the glass, but it would not be enough. Later in the half, Kulang shows off the body control gets the bucket, lays it in, then later, how about Sam Theobald? I used to see this guy at Soldiers Field Golf Course. <laughs> lays it in, great soccer player there also. The Lord Eagles, big win over Pine Island at home. They win that one 69 to 56 and out in Lake City, excuse me, out in Cannon Falls, the Lake City Tigers go on the road. They beat the Bombers 74-54 from uh, stats out of that one. Ryan Heisey, career high 27 points. Keegan Ryan 23, Hunter Lawrence and 18 for the Tigers. Next, we head out to home Federal Arena where the 1-0 Comets of Cass and Manorville took on the 1-0 Zombroda Mazeppa Cougars. First half, ZM got out on the break. Hunter Street finds Oliver Liffrig who lays it in. Cougs up five, but KM would respond. Easton Seuss passes it to Case and Tomey. The sophomore drives, lays it in. Comets down three. This game had some great back and forth action. On the other side, Caden Roderick sinks the jumper, but when we go the other way, KM had the answer. Hand down, man down, says Tomey. He sinks a three ball to give KM the lead. After that, ZM started to connect from long distance first. It's Roderick, that's Buckets. Then later, Street in transition, pulls up. His three is nothing but the bottom. ZM looks good this year. Right now, uh, they beat Casson Manorville 72 to 55. And a little bit further down the road in Dodge Center, the Cobras pick up a win over PEM. They win that one by 29 at home, 73-44. Next, we go out to St. Charles where the fighting Miranda Johnsons. They got a date with Eagle Ridge Academy. Shout out Miranda. Shout out Miranda. Well, <laughs> before the highlights here, the Saints had on some shirts tonight. Out of Jane Knothy, wife to legendary coach Terry Knothy. That's from cancer this year. Scholarship is open in her name at the school. So a beautiful tribute to her. For the game now, Saints came out hot. It's Mason Apes. That's good. St. Charles up seven, zip. Later, look at this rocket of a pass from Tyson Matsky to Peyton Olsen. Easy layup, Saints up seven here. Now, Eagle Ridge didn't go quietly. Michael Crowley steps into the triple, bottoms. And later, Saints are up 14 here, but it's going to be Crowley again. Top of the key, cash me outside. How about that? St. Charles lead. They're down to 11. They would regain control off the inbounds. Chris Hilton from the corner. Money. St. Charles back up 14 as the Saints would roll away with this game. They went 88-55 on the home floor. Out in Grand Meadow, Fillmore Central beats Grand Meadow 
39. Jace Keen, 32 points. The Falcons in that victory there. Other page, Kenyon Wanamingo beats NRHEG at home, 75-66. AJ Higginbottom, 20 points for the Fighting Sarah Gannons. I know Sarah likes that. Uh, no score in out there from Mabel Canton taking on South. Boy, how about that? We had a cash me outside. How about that? And what was it? Hanson was in his what? The Gucci Hansen, Duffel? He's in the Gucci Duffel. You know? That's got to be a pretty penny. You got to bring it out. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Big games. All right, guys, we're just getting started here on Sports Sector. After the break, we're going to take you to Iota, where a pair of undefeated teams met in girls basketball. Plus, the Mayo Spartans girls team hosted the Falcons of Faribault. Find out who won in Spartanland next. 